welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. Uh, today we're going to be talking about, uh, well I should say this is lesson 41B, and we're going to be following up and creating some additional functionality for our cool little uh, alarm clock setting uh, task that we created last time. Uh, we set this alarm count and made it so that uh, this particular one, eight hours when you trigger it, it sets an alarm for eight, exactly eight hours from now. Um, and you can change that to make that 10 and, uh, and another task and put those on your home screen. Um, but what I want to do is I want to create a scene, a pop-up scene, where you can choose how many hours from now and set it that way. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go to scenes, we're going to create a new one. And it's going to be one, oh, one, alarm count scene. And we're going to, you know, we'll make it an average size. We don't need it to be really big here. Um, yeah, that's good, I think. Uh, we're going to click the plus button. Actually, let's do something really quick. Let's go back to this, hit that menu button, properties. Uh, we wanna pick a color and we're gonna make it black. There we go. Solid black, keep it simple. Uh, we're not gonna get fancy with design on this one. We're just gonna do functionality. So now we're gonna uh, we click the little magnifying glass, you see the dots, that means you can add elements, plus it tells you a long click that element. We'll add text. Uh, it'll be very simple. Uh, how many hours from now do you want to wake up? Question mark. And uh, let's see, text color. Um, let's just make it something nice and bright and easy to see. And then we'll stretch this out and move it to the top. And that's good enough for government work for now. Okay, so now we're going to add a number picker. Number picker one, the minimum is gonna be one, and the maximum, I mean, you can make this whatever you want, but let's be serious. Does anyone sleep more than probably, if I get 10 hours of sleep, that's a miracle. My average is probably about six, and on a gr really good day, I maybe get nine, maybe 10, but I wouldn't sleep 10. I'd wake up probably after eight, but then just kind of doze for a while. But you can make this whatever you wanted, whatever would be practical for you. Um, for me, I would, to make it easier, you don't want selections that you're never gonna choose. So I would say, I'm gonna say six to 10, because I think that would be reasonably what I would want. And then default, I'm gonna say eight, because that is what I am gonna assume would be what I would most often want to do. And then when value is selected, what are we gonna do? We're gonna set a variable. So we're gonna say variable, uh, variable set. We're gonna say alarm count. Remember having a capital is important in this situation because we're taking that variable and using it somewhere else. And having a capital letter means the variable information will be stored permanently. Um, and we're gonna set it to percent new, no, that's not it. We need the underline new val. Percent new val is a variable that anytime you use the number picker um, on a scene element, uh, new val is continually updated anytime when you touch the number picker after you, when you release the new val is set, uh, that variable is set to that. So we're gonna take whatever value you have on there when you remove your finger and uh, set alarm clock to that. 
and we're gonna go back. All right, so that's that's that. Uh, number picker. Eh, let's make it a little bigger. I think. Can you make it bigger? Doesn't look like you can. It looks like it's just built in. And you can obviously you can move it bigger, but I'd like for the numbers to be a little bit bigger. But unfortunately, that's not an option. So there it is. And then we're gonna add one more element, and that's gonna be uh, text. It's really gonna be a button. Uh, so we're gonna say set alarm. Set alarm. Uh, make the text size a little bigger. And uh, make the text color something nice and bright so we can see it. And then just probably real quick change the background to maybe a gray. And of course you can get fancier with it, but this will work for our purposes. And now we're gonna tap that. Well, I had already tapped it. So it opened up and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna have this uh, trigger the uh, uh, task. So we're going to tasker and we're gonna go to, sorry, we're not gonna go to tasker. We're going to go to task. Perform task. And then we're gonna pick the task we just created, which is 101 alarm count, and we're gonna have it trigger that uh, when we hit that button. And we're also gonna have it destroy the scene, which means it'll disappear. So we'll go scene, destroy scene, and it already has that in there. And there we go. Now the one thing we need to do, we need to remember what we had that variable set as. Remember when value is selected, we variable set alarm count with capital A and capital C. So that's our scene. We're gonna go out of there. We're gonna go back over to uh, task, to alarm count. And what we're going to do is we're gonna have uh, we're gonna set alarm time to percent time plus and we're gonna create a fun mathematical equation here. And every, first we're gonna bring up that uh, uh, variable that we just created, alarm count. And it's gonna be that uh, times, that's our hours. There are 60 minutes in an hour and there are 60 seconds in every minute. So if we have 60 seconds in every minute, 60 minutes in every hour, if we multiply 60 times 60 times the hours, then that should give us the num correct number of seconds to add to the current time to start off our profile. So that uh, should set that up correctly. And then the only other thing we need to do is we need to have a way to uh, show that scene to start the whole process. So we need to create a task that shows that scene. We can make this 101 alarm scene. And we'll say Scene, show scene, which scene? 101 alarm count scene. How do we want to show it? Uh, let's show it as an activity full window. I think that'll work just fine to do it that way. And you could play, of course, with showing it different ways and positioning it differently. But I think that'll get us uh, what we need to do what we need to do. 
Um, then you would just place a button or a shortcut or a, either a widget or a shortcut on your home screen or anywhere that allows a shortcut to trigger this and that would start the whole process. Um, to show you how it works, so we're just going to do it this way. We're going to hit the play button and here we go. There's our picker. So we would pick how many hours from now we want to wake up. Let's say we want to wake up six hours from now, which we know would be 9.51. We're going to say set alarm. And you can see it's triggering that task. Alarm is set for eight hours from now. And we actually were already in the alarm clock, but let's go back into it. And eight hours from now, 11.51, you can see it worked. So pretty cool. Uh, let's do another one just for fun. Here's our scene. Pick the hours we want. Uh, let's go uh, 10 hours from now, which would be like, ooh, what's 10 hours from now? Well, it's almost four, so it's like two in the morning or something like that. So set the alarm and we get our uh, confirmation. All right, it's at eight hours from now. Let's see. Oh, it's still set at eight hours from now. So something's not working quite right in there. We need to adjust something. So let's go back and take a look at it. This is the way it works with Tasker. You try stuff and then you change it and then you uh, try it again. So alarm count. Uh, flash, of course, is the best way to uh, sort of see what's going on. So let's add a flash. And let's flash alarm count long. And let's put that up there because that'll tell us if we're correctly transferring that information over. Uh, from uh, the scene. So we pick, let's pick six again, let's set alarm. And let's go back to scene. I think I might know what's happening. Uh, let's go here. I selected, we're setting it to alarm. Okay, that's correct. Set alarm. And tap. All right, so this is something I'm going to have to look into and think about. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll finish. Okay, so I figured out why I wasn't working in Zachary. It was very simple. It's because I hadn't backed out of Tasker. Um, especially with scenes. I don't know why it is, but with scenes, um, sometimes it can happen with profiles and tasks too, so it's important to make sure, but especially with scenes. When you create a scene, you have to go out of Tasker uh, completely, and that sort of saves it into memory to make it work. If you don't do that, then it may not work. That's all it was. Once I backed out and then went back in, then it worked exactly the way that it is supposed to work. So that's a good lesson. Uh, it's one that I have learned a million times and yet I still forget it until something like this happens and then I get reminded very quickly. So now it all works. We're going to click play. The scene's going to pop up. We're going to choose six. We're going to click set alarm. You can see the six showed up and then you can see the hours a minute showed up and then you can see that it's setting the alarm six hours from now. And if you go to alarm set, you'll see there's alarm set for 9.56, which is six hours from 3.56. So uh, everything looks like it's working now. We'll do one more just for fun. We'll set it for 10 hours from now. We'll click set. You can see 10, got that part right. Uh, you can see the hours and the minutes. And then you can see 10 hours from now. And if you go into the alarm, you'll see that there's one set for 1.56 a.m. So uh, anyway, that's just wanted to show you that that's one way to do it. Now, I thought about doing something to uh, show you how to do it with auto voice and do it by voice. I thought that would be cool, um, but I did not do that. And the reason I did not do that is quite simple. Uh, it's because um, Google has it built in. Okay, Google. 
Wake me up eight hours and 30 minutes from now. Okay, 12.27 a.m., setting your alarm. And you can see, if you use OK Google, it does it automatically. So if you're gonna do it by voice, just use what you already have built. There's no point reinventing the wheel. Um, but if you don't have access, uh, OK Google, for whatever reason, um, no, I'm not talking to you, uh, then, uh, you could do it with auto voice. Here are some matching pictures. But there's just really no point because if you have an Android phone, then you do have Google Now built into it. But for doing it, uh, you know, obviously there might be a situation where uh, you want to set this, you're going to bed, but maybe you have a spouse or a boyfriend, girlfriend, partner that you don't want to wake up, so you don't want to be talking to your phone. You just want a button to do it really fast and that's obviously what you would use this for. Anyway, that's it for this uh, lesson. Hopefully uh, you learned a little bit about how to take a base, once you come up with a basic idea from Tasker and then take it to the next level, do something more with it um, using scenes and options and uh, you know, there's, I'm sure that there's a million other things that you guys will think of uh, to do with this that I haven't even thought of. So that's what's fun about Tasker. You can start small and then you can slowly build and expand and make it bigger and better as time goes on. Anyway, that's it. Uh, hopefully you liked this lesson. If you did, please click that like button. Feel free to ask questions or post comments in the comment section below. Uh, check out all the other Tasker tutorials if you haven't already. Check out my channel for tons of Android app reviews. I don't review anything but apps that I think help make your phone better. Uh, so lots of really cool apps in that playlist as well as a huge uh, product review playlist with lots of cool gadgets and electronics and uh, fun stuff as well as appliances and dog products and things like that. So check those out as well. And even an Android car tablet series if that's something you want to uh, get into or check out. It's pretty interesting if you're uh, techie or geeky like I am. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.